Water can be hard to find in the freezing winters of Mongolia. Plenty of it from deeply dug wells is a welcome sight then to the country's thousands of herders and the millions of livestock they live off. Herder Batjargal, a father of four, says this recently rehabilitated well is the only source of running water his family and their 700 heads of livestock have. This well we use for everything, for our daily use of water and for our livestock, and it is the same for the other herders around this area. But Jargal and other herders proposed the renovation of the once defunct well in their area under Mongolia's Sustainable Livelihoods Project, funded by the World Bank. The project's Community Initiatives Program gathers rural community members and lets them decide what initiatives to finance with program funds, says Deputy Governor Amar Khan Dulamhan. In terms of selections, we have several levels. The community groups gather and they speak of the project they propose for next year. And after the community group proposes, the so-called bug meeting discusses and makes a short list. And the third level, there's a selection committee that discusses which three or four projects can be implemented this year. And the others are set aside for the next year's proposal. Under the initiative's fund, rural communities have paid for and supervised the upgrading of small but vital infrastructure projects like the wells and hospitals. The Mongolian town of Uzlit chose to renovate its health centers using money from the fund to pay for new equipment, beds, sheets and windows, says the governor. Under the fund, we have implemented four small projects to renovate the town hospitals. And with these small projects, we were able to have beds and sheets and carpet and washing machines and new roofing. <laughs> Uzlit also funded a motorcycle for its traveling medic, Dr. Oroshulon, who rides up to 30 kilometers a day in freezing temperatures to make house calls to homebound patients. Before it was quite challenging because I only had a horse and it was difficult when it was snowy and rainy. In addition to improving their health facilities, rural communities have allotted initiative funds to upgrading their education sectors. Fund money has gone to renovating dormitories like this one in the Mongolian town of Bogd, where children from isolated areas come to live in order to be closer to school. Bog's community tapped the initiative fund to pay for the dormitory's new kitchen equipment and new chairs and tables for its dining room. A welcome improvement, says 17-year-old Narengarel, who's lived at the dorm for the past four years. It is all very useful and makes it a more convenient environment for study. And study she must, says Narangarel, in pursuit of her dream to become a doctor. <laughs>